Here we are again. Oh. First event session, post World Strongest Man, prep for Albert Hall. Let's go. Right guys, so the events have been announced for the Royal Albert Hall. They are Viking Press, Yoke, Deadlift, Nickel Stone Walk and Atlas Stones in no particular order. But thank you Giant Life for finally putting in the heavier stones as well. Heavier stone run, yes, yes, yes. Anyway, that's our first event session back since World Shores Man as well. So today, like this whole week has been, we're going to be doing the events. We're just going to see how we are feeling, maybe push it, just, yeah, not push too hard this week and have some fun. So, yeah, let's see what... Uh, what happens today? Giants live. We're back, baby! Albert Hall! <laughs> we will, we will you spice you up. Blood on your face, big disgrace. Kicking that can all over the place. Singing, we will, we will. Shut up. <laughs> It's Saturday, Sunday, what? Where are we going? The sun. Guys, what is your favourite rain flavour? Right now mine is lemon. Come on, yes. Come on, look. Easy. Come on. Up! Easy. Hey buddy. Come on. Went into the wooden log, did 140, then did 160 for three and 180 for three. So feeling comfortable. For me, I just want to keep 
the progression that Tom and I had before Worlds, the training sessions that Tom and I were doing were really on point for me. So there's no point in me dropping back down too much when I'm still on that trajectory. That's what I'm feeling. Um, so I've got that exponential strength kind of to come. So. I think by the Albert Hall, by the Shaw Classic, that's why we're still doing log. Um, there'll be a log at the Shaw Classic, so we need to encompass every everything again. So, yeah, feeling really good, feeling really motivated. Nice to be training with Big Tommy and keep smashing it. Ow. We are now going on to Yoke, which is one of the, the big events at the Albert Hall. So, I think it's a a decently heavy yoke, apparently, so um, yeah, gonna start doing the yoke. So, I'm gonna do a few sets of that. I want to push it a wee bit. Our yoke is 200 empty, so yeah, see what we can get up to today. That's called the uh What's that thing that cleans the wood? A plane. Yeah, that's called a plane. Okay. <laughs> when you get there, it's trapped, there's nothing you can do. See, the, the video at the end will be like, <laughs> we're gonna try and do nickel handles, but we are missing a wee bit, so we're gonna try and see if we can find it, and then we'll do them. But yeah, nickel handle locks, whatever they're called. Come on, Luke, keep going. Come on. Come on, Luke. Come on, Tom. Come on, Tom. Come on. You got it, Tom. Come on. Take your time. Come on. Squeeze, Tom.
Ouchi. Ouchi. Oh. Uite de bubu. Oh. I've only ever done them once and that's my first time doing them in a long time so again it's just uh, getting a feel for them what's the best grip how to do it oh this is only I think it was 120 and 100 so we're like 12k and what 10 10 to 12k off the heavy on both of them so it's our sorry 20k and about 10k off heavy on both of them something like that so it was nice I mean I think they walk up there at about 20, then back probably like nearly 25 meters. And obviously, when you drop it, you can get 10 seconds to go again. But it's just, um, like I said, getting used to it. But it feels good. You know, it's a great session so far. Yoke, log yoke, um, nickel stones, and you know, just start upping the weight on them. Maybe doing more and more runs, but. The only way you're going to get better at nickel stones is if, obviously if you do the nickel stones and if you do, or if you get handles like that, you know, farmers and all that are good, but farmers are totally different things than um, nickel stones, so yeah, these are probably the second best things to that show, nickel stones, but yeah, we'll get better, we'll get better, we'll keep getting better. Last, last time we did it, we didn't have the nickel stone handles, so it's a good sign being a one weekend and doing that, but oh, it's sore. My left hand just went there, just... So we wrist injury, but it's all good. But yeah, I'm a uh, cannot wait for the weekend. Come on, boys. So we just finished in stone, so just back and forth. We did 120 for three reps and then 140 for five reps back and forth. We're not using any tacky, just the remainder that's on the stones. Um, so yeah, feeling good. Feeling a lot better now than when we first started in a good session. So nice first session back. Fully motivated is Tom Stoltman. The two times world strongest man, the four time podium finisher, a world strongest man. Are you feeling motivated, Tom? Yeah, buddy. Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, that is the first event session done. How was it, Tom? Yeah, it's very good. Like I said, better than I thought. It's just nice getting the body moving and all the different events. So we kick on from here in uh, seven good weeks of prep and we're coming in strong. We're coming in hot like a spicy chilli pepper. I hope you're ready. I'm excited, feeling motivated, feeling really happy we're back training. We've got loads of competitions. Yes, I'm gonna motivate. I'm getting my revenge on every single cop this year. Bang, let's go. Stay safe, smiling, stay spicy.
Please don't forget to ring that little bell. Guys, so today I'm going to walk you through the log press. Hey guys, this is week one of the Atlas Stone tutorial by Tom Stoneman. Right guys, today's tutorial is 